D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I have the top tests, TS301, Digital Anemometer. Is that correct? Yes, you can see there. All right. You can see it there. Okay. And I'm also in the set of the ceiling cavity. As you can see there. The reason why I'm up here, because there's an AC unit, as you can see here. Fixed orifice. Metering device. Blower motor. Okay. So, before we get into the video, wait a minute. What am I doing here? I'm going to be reviewing this, talking about this device right here. Top test, I'd send this to me, free of charge. There's a little disclaimer right here. I received this device right here. Free of charge. As a matter of fact, I received two of them. And I'm going to be giving one away. So if you're interested, uh, uh, hit me up on my DM on Instagram. And to figure out how, to find out how you can get one of these, one of these free of charge. So top test have sent this to me. Free of charge, just for me to try it out and review it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Okay, but before we get to the video, as always... If you have not subscribed, subscribe and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right, so let's go. So I've already opened this box up. You know, try this out. Try it out this TS301 digital anemometer. I've tried it out, I've tried it. So I can talk about it. And then I'm also taking it for a spin just so you guys could see what it can do in some sense. So the key, the key thing about this device here that I find useful is that it has a uh, temperature and humidity sensor. Temperature and humidity sensor as you could see. Um, but before we talk about the device and its features, Let's talk about what comes in the box. As you can see, the device is here. Put it over there. We have some manuals. And I think this is in multiple languages. English, English, of course, is one of those languages. Okay. That's a manual. And then you have A carrying this is a nice carrying tote but it's a carrying tote or a carrying case or it's rather nice um however like i said in my previous uh top test um, um review video on the gas leak detectors this will not hold up in the hvac environment because it's too soft you put this this device right here into this bag throw it in your toolbox game over top test take, take this one for uh, back to the engineering team and get a provide a hard case option for this device right here that right there it's cool but it's trash no good for HVA guys and in fact this is a tool like i said i'm going to talk about this tool right now the features are, are some of the features are the main features of this device but this right here guys you could find it online at amazon.com and i think top test as a website i think www.toptest.com i think it's on the toptesttools.com www.toptesttools.com they have a website as well um but the price for this what well, i think it's uh 20 25 dollars 25 dollars on amazon so let's talk about the device right here. So as you can see, you got temperature and humidity. Um, and then you have 
there's a little fan in there that measures wind speed or wind vi or air velocity, air speed or air velocity. And the units that it has is a uh, feet per second, minutes per second, kilometer meter per hour, knots. Is that mile per hour? I think so. And feet per minute. So if you're in the if you're in the HVAC industry, you'll be born interested in the feet per minute. Because with feet per minute, you can convert that to something familiar. Cubic feet per minute. If you're sad with math, if you're good with math, you can calculate it. Alright, so you can use this to somewhat measure airflow. I wouldn't say that this is a this is not a by no means a accurate means of measuring airflow because I tried it out. You can use this, however, if you just simply want to open up some ear ducts or ear vents and increase airflow. And you can use this to measure if the velocity, if the air velocity has increased. In fact, because sometimes it's really hard when you're using just your back of your hands and feeling against the diffusers or the air vent to see if the airflow has increased or in fact decreased if you're closing down the volume dampers. But with this device right here, any changes you make to the volume damper in air adjust for airflow adjustments, you hold this up to the air vent and it will show you the air velocity. So I'm blowing into it right now. So I just blew into it and you can see air velocity. All right, so that's the units. Um, you can do Celsius for the temperature reading. Celsius and Fahrenheit. And um, there is a uh, there is a hold function, which and I don't know if that will be applicable for us HVAC guys. I've tried this out. It, it the hold function I guess is use is useful if you like in a spot where you want to just like lock in the maximum amount, maximum amount of air velocity that you measured. Um, also the uh, the min max feature i've tried to use it it doesn't quite make sense to me i don't know maybe top test could comment in the comment section or maybe there's more information in the manuals about that but i've tried to use this and i couldn't make sense of it all right but i'm sure that that function and there's also a backlight let me turn my camera light off there's a backlight if you hold this button right here it lights up. Glow in the dark, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this downstairs. I'm gonna turn this unit on and I'm gonna go measure some air velocity. All right, so this is definitely the one I'm gonna put in my toolbox. I'm gonna carry it around. Um, but I don't know about this case right here. This case right here doesn't, I don't know how long it's gonna last amongst my tools. In this case, it should be a hard case. And again, I said this is about $25. I'll double check. I think it's $25 on Amazon.com. Okay, just so. Let's turn this unit on and let's go measure some air velocity. Stay tuned. Fan on. Let's go. All right. So let's go. Air vent is wide open and it's blowing, baby. Let's go. Put it in the corner. One spot. Oh, well, it's kind of difficult to do this well on a ladder and holding a camera. So I'm gonna hit the hold, the hold button. Once it goes up, once it levels out and stops. Oh, crap. <laughs> I turned it off. Take two. Okay, so take two. Take two. I'm trying to hit the hold button, but I hit the power button instead. Bit tedious holding a camera while doing this on a ladder. So hit hold. Oh, crap. Again, I did that. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Put light on. Light on. And hold, please. 
Ah, oh, thank you. So that's my CFM right there. Not CFM, I mean cubic feet per minute. Feet per minute, rather. Air velocity. Air velocity um, in feet per minute. You can, you can do the math if you may and convert that to cubic feet per minute. Obviously, you'll need the, the air of the outlet of the duct. Um, whether it be round or rectangular uh, or square, the area of that, you need to convert feet per minute into cubic feet per minute. <clears throat> and you can find these <clears throat> you can find these formulas online if you if you're interested or if you're a math whiz, a math whiz. So that's that. So that's the measurements of feet per minute. Now I'm gonna make believe. Actually I'm gonna just lower adjust this lower right here and I'm, I can see I closed that down right I closed down the louvers in the diffuser right here now other ways you can do this if you're a technician you know you can do it from the um, you can make adjustments on the uh, on the 762 you can make adjustment on the uh, by the volume dumpers right I just closed that down. Let's just see what happens to the airflow. Should be less. I'm assuming. Yeah. And I pretty much put it back in the same spot. Okay, so there's still some air passing through this because this is not quite a, a uh, you know, it can't be fully closed per se. So you get some airflow out of it. And you can see that in the same spot airflow is less all right it's less okay so this is how you can use this tool um my the key thing about this for me is that uh it has a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor so yeah that's just about wrap it up for this video